Select from pdq.com. I'm going to take you through using Active Directory to add and remove computers from your inventory. Now, the great thing about Active Directory and inventory is this inventory is read only. So, anything you do in inventory is not going to affect your Active Directory. That being said, check this out. Inventory, I actually went into inventory and I did an inventory sync. So, if you go into options, preferences, Active Directory, here's where you do your Active Directory sync. Now, I'm going to show you how it's done and then we're gonna run it. So, first of all, you're gonna include a container. Now, here's your domain, right? I just picked the top level container. You can pick sub containers if you want. Again, if you're gonna pick the top level, include the subtree. Give it an okay. And of course, I've already got it added. There it is. And then you're gonna sync now. But before I sync that, let me show you something. Let's say I wanted to get rid of the machine ABBA, okay? If I hit delete in inventory, check it out. Yep, she's gone. All that data's gone with it. Yeah, the data's gone right now, but guess what? It's still in Active Directory. So when you kick off that Active Directory sync, sync now, it's gonna sync. It's gonna go to Active Directory and look for all the computers that are in Active Directory that are not in inventory. It's gonna put them in there, which it just did. Check it out, there's ABBA. And now that it's in there, it's gonna go rerun that sync and get that data. The good thing with that is, if I accidentally delete something, I'm going to get it back from Active Directory. The bad thing about that is, let's say you'll notice um, some of these machines here like Captain America. That machine, computer name could not be found. I deleted that from Active Directory two weeks ago. In fact, I deleted most of these that have computer name not found from Active Directory weeks ago. But because I haven't cleaned up Active Directory and I deleted them out of inventory, when that sync runs, it's gonna put them back. So once again, check it out. I'm gonna go in here, delete Captain America, Dex Knows and Deadpool, two of those. I know we're really gone. Dex knows is legit. And again, they're gone. But when I do that Active Directory sync once again, let me show you that one. And let's say I do schedule this. This auto sync is scheduled to run every hour. So every hour, in an hour, it's going to go put those machines back. So it's going to run that sync. And guess what? There they are. Captain America, Deadpool, and Dex knows all back again. So takeaways from this, guys. Um, the best thing is to have one place to maintain, you know, your computer. Active Directory is that place. So when you've got a bunch of these, you know, computer name not founds showing up in inventory, it's a good time to go clean up your Active Directory, delete them out of there. If you do delete them out of Active Directory and your settings and preferences are set to the point where it full sync, delete all computers that are not part of Active Directory, they will get deleted out of inventory also. Once again, Inventory reads only. It doesn't delete stuff from Active Directory at it. So you need to go make those adjustments in Active Directory and it will flow down to inventory for you. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Lex from pdq.com.